Hey everyone, just recently my YouTube channel reached over 200 subscribers. I know that might not sound like too many, but I think it's really cool and I want to say thank you to all of you who watch my videos, who enjoy them, and uh, who support my channel. Um, I'd love to give everyone a handshake, but I guess a virtual high five uh, will have to do. All right, thank you. Boom. Hey everyone, in this short video I want to review something which I've talked about in previous videos and that is how to spin the jump rope properly. And I'm going to do so by looking at some footage of female boxer Katie Taylor jumping rope. In case you're unfamiliar with her, Katie Taylor is from Ireland and she's an amazing boxer and athlete in general. Plus, she's extremely humble. When she was younger, she played soccer for the Republic of Ireland and she had a very decorated amateur boxing career. She won so many gold medals at World Championships, European Championships, as well as, as an Olympic gold medal in London. And I've been lucky enough to see her fight live. She's super exciting to watch. Uh, she constantly puts her opponents under pressure with her attacking come forward style and she throws awesome punch combinations. Since she turned pro last year, she has been trained by Ross Enemite, who has a great website and a YouTube channel. And tonight, Katie Taylor is fighting for a world title on Anthony Joshua's undercard. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now, I'll play the clip of Katie Taylor jumping rope. It's the only footage I could find, and it's very short, but we can still see the quality form that she uses. Before I hit play, that is her in the front on the far left in the green jacket. Notice how relaxed she looks when she's jumping. And look at her upper arms and how she spins the rope with her wrists and lower arms. It looks almost effortless. Let's see that again in slow motion. Her upper arms are not flaring or jutting out to the sides of her body. You know, a lot of people, especially those new to jumping rope, they often complain that their shoulders and upper arms get tired when they jump rope, even after jumping for just a few minutes. And one of the main reasons is because they flare their upper arms away from their upper body and they use their arms far too much when spinning the rope. This is extremely inefficient. When you jump rope, you want to keep your upper arms relaxed and relatively close to the sides of your body. When you flare out your arms, you are engaging your shoulders and hence the reason why people often experience shoulder fatigue quite easily when they jump rope. So keep your upper arms close to the sides of your body and this will help minimize shoulder engagement and it will force you to focus on spinning the rope with your wrists plus your forearms and elbows. In other words, you want to use your lower arms mostly, not your upper arms. With some advanced jump rope moves and tricks, your upper arms will be involved more, but for a lot of jump rope moves, you want to focus on using your wrists plus forearms and elbows to spin the rope, not your shoulders or upper arms. You will also notice that Katie uses great footwork form when she jumps rope. And in a future video, I will cover some of the key footwork moves that boxers use when jumping rope. These moves will help make jumping rope more fun, more graceful and slick looking, and they will help you be able to jump rope for longer durations. I will leave you with some footage from the end of my jump rope session yesterday. I finished off by doing some sets of 100 plus double unders. I apologize that I will skip in at an angle to the camera. Now even though double unders can be quite intense, notice that I remain quite relaxed. I try to keep my upper arms relaxed and I use my lower arms to spin the rope. And in a future video, I will cover some techniques that you can use to remain more relaxed when jumping rope and doing other intense exercise. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I want to thank you, my viewers and subscribers for your support. Until next time, thanks for watching. You're still here? It's over. Go home.